if you are also tired of joystick override falling back to the wrong source, then Skahoy has a solution for you. Joystick override is when you have an RCP and you press the button on top of the joystick that brings up a source on the screen in front of the camera shading operator. And that is actually quite a tricky thing because if you are in a comparative scenario where you want to compare two camera sources, you don't want to fall back to the default all the time. Well, to um, illustrate what this uh, solution is, I want to go directly to our demonstration. Today, I didn't bring two RCPs really connected, but I want you to see what they have on the backside because these units have a little jack that has a relay output and that relay output will typically be connected to a GPIO box connected to your video router. And that's exactly what we have right here. Ethernet GPI link from Skahoy. It has eight inputs, eight outputs, and on the other side, it has an Ethernet jack that connects to your uh, video router of whatever sort it is. So um, that's what we have to do uh, today. And so um, since it's not connected to the RCP, what I do have is a little breakout board here on the back of this unit that has small buttons I can press with the tip of a pen to simulate what it would be like if I press the joystick. So let's see what happens. This button over here would correspond to me pressing the joystick on the first RCP and it brings up another camera source, the one that I'm supposedly shading with this RCP on the screen. Okay, if I release it again, it falls back to the default. Now I press over here, this is camera two. That would correspond to pressing this one, bringing that up on the screen in front of me and releasing, it falls back to the default. The default could be a multi-viewer or the program or something like that. So now comes the special action, okay? And I'll explain why it's special just afterwards. So I press now the first one here, brings up this source. Then while holding this down, I'll bring up the other one because I wanna compare the two, right? And then I release this one again. So I release this one, but I'm still holding this joystick as I do with the pen right now. And it falls back to this camera instead of falling back to the default. And that's the trick. So bring camera two up, fall back to camera one, bring camera two up, fall back to camera one as I release. Even if you do like this, you bring up camera number two and I release camera one and then I press down camera one. Then camera one is now shown. And if I release camera two, then nothing happens here because camera one sort of got on top in the queue. So it's basically a queuing system for joystick override. Imagine it's like when kids play this game, you know, where they put the hand and then somebody takes out the hand and put it on top of the stack and, you know, go on like that. That's kind of the thing that's happening here. You never see the table underneath before all hands are gone. And that's exactly what whole groups are. So you, you can have this action where, where two hands will give you comparative output from um, a view of cameras on your monitor in front of you until you release everything and it falls back to the default. The Ethernet GPIO link box will give you two whole groups. It means that with the eight channels of inputs you have on this one, you can actually serve two stations uh, of camera shading with each four RCPs in your B truck. And no problem if you want to have even more RCPs in each, then I'm pretty sure that you can afford having two of these units. So that's what we do. We provide solutions that make your everyday life in your OB trucks, your master control rooms, in your live production easier. And if you want to know more, check out our YouTube channel, check out our social media post, newsletter and so forth. We are sharing content all the time about how our solutions can help you get better every day.